Hello students in our previous video we learned about food chain we know that food chain is a link between series of organisms feeding on one another at various trophic levels so we can say that simple food chain basically consists of links between producers herbivores and carnivores today let us see some different types of food chain food chains are broadly categorized into three types terrestrial food chain aquatic food chain and detritus food chain understand students that in one ecosystem single food chain cannot exist independently many food chains are interlinked with each other known as food web we will understand this in a later half of the video but let's first understand different types of food chain one by one starting with terrestrial food chain the terrestrial food chain links organisms that live on land from the tiniest microbes in the soil to the large mammals of forest are linked to each other forming various trophic levels of terrestrial food chain There are various types of terrestrial food chains like grazing food chain, detritus food chain, etc. All these food chains start with producers that is green plants, passes through herbivores and then to carnivores. In this type of food chain, all organisms depend on the producers that is plants for energy generation or food production. This food then passes on to herbivores and then to carnivores in turn. As we can see here very clearly that autotrophs form the base of all ecosystems on earth. The majority of ecosystems in environment follow this kind of food chain. Now let's see aquatic food chain. This food chain links various organisms in aquatic habitat like oceans, rivers, ponds etc unlike terrestrial food chain here the plants of water called as phytoplanktons are the producers they are eaten up by the zooplanktons which are small animals and thus these zooplanktons are the primary consumers the small fishes eat the zooplanktons and are called as secondary consumers and the birds like kingfishers occupy the last trophic level that is they are the top order carnivore of this food chain students can you think of any other type of aquatic food chain say here producers are algae instead of phytoplankton which in turn are eaten up by small fishes like herring fish and they are at the second trophic level called herbivores these small fishes are eaten up by bigger fish forming the third trophic level of secondary consumers seal eats up this larger fishes and forms the fourth trophic level of tertiary consumers and killer shark which is the biggest carnivore of this food chain forms fifth trophic level called as quaternary consumers or top order carnivore so students this is the aquatic food chain which starts with phytoplankton or algae as producers now let us see the detritus food chain this type of food chain starts from the dead organic matter yes you heard it right this food chain does not start with producers it starts with dead organic matter being decayed by organisms called as decomposers the dead organic matter is broken down into simple nutrients by microorganisms like fungi and bacteria these simple nutrients and the decomposing organisms are then consumed from soil by smaller carnivores which in turn become food for larger carnivores a similar detritus food chain also exists in aquatic ecosystem so students we have now learned about different types of food chain 
Now the question is, are these food chains independent of each other or linked with each other in one ecosystem or the environment? Well, you think about it and we will discuss this in our next video.